Hello and a very warm welcome. Your Canada qualifying reaction as the male model on pole. Yes, I'm not joking. Mercedes on pole. Brilliant. Wow, what a qualifying that was. One of the best we've seen in a long time. Five teams in the top in the top six. Mercedes on pole. They've been dog shit all season, yet they've found some pace here. Wow, so many shocks up and down the field from Perez getting knocked out to Logan Sargent making Q2. Ferrari's knocked out and Mercedes on pole. Wow, join me for qualifying reaction here. This could be a long one. Esteban Ocon starts the weekend with a five-place grid penalty for the incident with Gasly at Monaco. Also coming in to right before qualifying, Yuki Tsunoda announces he will stay with Racing Bulls into 25. And pretty much we jump into Q1 and we continue the theme with Yuki Tsunoda. Now I like Yuki Tsunoda, um, he's a fan favourite on the channel, well he's not getting any favouritism from me. I think he's very lucky to get away without a penalty for blocking Oscar. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. No action. He got away with that, in my opinion. Um, yeah, when you block someone in qualifying, it's usually a slam dunk. Luckily, Oscar made it through, so that might have helped Yuki. But the biggest shock in Q1, Sergio Perez knocked out again. I mean, Yuki not even in the conversation for a Red Bull seat. He's out qualified him in a racing ball three times. Perez. New contract, new man. No, no, no. Same old man. That is horseshit by Sergio Perez. Um, Logan Sargent making Q2. I've hammered the guy, but fair play. Credit where it's due. If he does well, I'll praise him. Um, yeah, that's brilliant um, for Logan. Bit of a confidence boost, given all the talk about his seat. Q2, huge save by George Russell. Almost binned it in the wall. But the biggest shock in Q2, both Ferraris out. Win at Monaco, on the podium at Monaco, and out in Q2. Wow. They were on used tyres, but that is poor by Ferrari. And then we jump into Q3. Wow, what a quality. Russell on pole. Unbelievable. Max matched his time. Five teams in the top six. Uh, yeah, we've been complaining F1, Stale, Imola, Monaco. But what a quality. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of fire in me belly, that one. That's what F1 should be like. Bit of excitement. Uh, Canada qualifying reaction. One of the best qualities in ages. And George Russell on pole. Wow. Let's jump into the order. Pole. George Russell is second pole in F1. It's been a horror season for Mercedes. Shit after shit. Qualifying 6th and 7th and 8th and 9th. Nowhere near good enough for the Brackley-based outfit. But they've looked quick from the get-go around this track. Um, yeah. Wow. Fair play, George Russell. Um, yeah, I support him now. Um, I also support McLaren. But yeah, that is brilliant. P2 Max was looking off the pace. Matched Russell's time. Russell set it first, so he's on pole. Yeah, I would expect Max to be race favourite though. P3 and P4 come the McLaren boys. Lando Norris third, fourth Oscar Piastri. Solid result for McLaren. P5, Daniel Ricciardo. Rinsed, exposed by Jack Villeneuve on Sky F1. What's he even here for? He's not good enough. He's conning the seat. Maybe Ricciardo got a bit of motivation from that. It's going to be spicy if he goes on Sky F1 and Jack Villeneuve's there. Uh, yeah, I want to watch that if that's going to happen. P6, Fernando Alonso. 7th, Canadian home favourite, Lance Stroll. 8th, Yuki Tsunoda. New contract. Um, yeah, another solid quality. I've got two written down here. What an idiot. Um, yes, I've got 7th for Stroll. Ninth, uh, oh, I've made a bummer. Ninth, um, I'm missing someone. Who is it that I'm missing? I've wrote stroll down twice. What a dick. Um, 
yeah, I'll have to get it up. Um, Lance Stroll seventh, Yuki eighth, or is Stroll ninth? My phone's taking ages to load up. Brilliant. Take your time, phone. It's not as if I'm recording a video. Um, oh, no. Yes, I've made a boom, bummer. Right, we'll start again. Six, Fernando Alonso. Seventh, Lewis Hamilton. 0.28 separated the top seven. But that's disappointing by Lewis. He was up there with George. And I've got to say, I called he'll get Paul in the WhatsApp group. I was expecting Lewis because he's a master around here. Eighth comes Yuki Tsunoda. Ninth, Lance Stroll, home favourite. We got there eventually. Tenth, Alex Albon. Positive for Williams. Albon goes well round this track. He finished very well here last year. Then comes the big shock. Eleventh, Charles Leclerc. Monaco race winner in eleventh. Podium man, Carlos Sainz, twelfth. Wow. 13th, Logan Sargent, a big positive for him, make you too. 13th, all this talk about, oh, science is coming into Williams and just basically, that's a good performance. 14th, Kevin Magnussen, I was half expecting him to make Q3, he looked fast. 15th, Gasly. 16th, Sergio Perez, horseshit, mucky, new contract, same old Sergio. 17th, Bottas. We'll go in the proper order. 18th will come Hulkenberg. Saturday, man, usually. That's awful. 19th, Guanyu Joe. He's had a shit weekend. Crash in practice one. Crash in practice three. Qualifies last. We'll go to 19th. 20th and last will be Ocon with his penalty for Monaco. What a qualifying. That was absolutely sensational. Honestly. Shocks, drama, rain. Little drops, dry. I mean, a Mercedes, Red Bull, McLarens, um, you know, Aston Martins, Racing Bulls, all in there. Brilliant. Honestly, F1 needed this. Let's hope we get a good race tomorrow. A bit of rain, a bit of dry, spice it up. Plenty of safety cars will probably happen. Honestly, one of the best qualities in a long time. Good day for Formula One today. We praise Formula 1 when it's good. When it's shit, we call it out. Adios. Russell on pole. Get in there, the male model. Get a topless selfie done.